With the crypto market finally waking back up, Polygon's Matic could be in for another price surge. Guys, in this video, we're going to dive down into the technical analysis on Matic. As we get into this, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe? Tap that bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Right, with that said, done out of the way, let's dive down into this brief technical analysis on Matic. We're only going to start with the daily chart, guys, before we dive into what's going on with the hourly. There's a couple of interesting things that have been occurring on this um, this daily chart that I really wanted to kind of communicate over with you guys. First thing I'm going to do is going to grab this fib and I'm going to move it over to the right hand side a little bit and then we're going to grab our yellow box and also move it over. Okay so um, first of all we want to talk about the, the Fibonacci retracement tool that we have on here. It runs from the high that was achieved in the on the 18th of May 2021. Okay that comes in at two dollars and uh, 70. But then obviously had the low point, right? So when Bitcoin pulled back from 65K to 28K, this actually allowed Matic to come back down to a pretty interesting kind of buy zone. This came in at 62.1 cent, okay? So a pretty good pullback um, and opportunities were had down at this lower bound, okay? So pretty much, we actually take a look at where these wicks are. Anything that is basically below uh, $1 was a fantastic opportunity, okay? Um, and what we can now see is some interesting kind of patterns that have formed. The one that's quite notable that's across most of these altcoins and even including Bitcoin, in fact, they all have a bit of a cup and handle pattern forming, okay? And again, this is an interesting kind of point to kind of just uh, reiterate is that if we actually take this cup uh, all the way down here and we bring it up, uh, that basically then form, allows us to form a handle, which comes down to here, which was pretty much the month of September. Uh, and then this actually then will do a price surge to the upside, targeting $2.52. Okay, so basically this cup and handle pattern is actually looking pretty tidy for uh, Polygon's Matic in the same way that it's pretty tidy for things like VeChain and Harmony One. There are two other projects that are also following this exact same pattern and moving quite nicely to the upside in relation to how the cup and handle um, pattern actually should form. Um, so right now, this is looking pretty good and pretty tidy. And a $2.52 price target is basically just taking us above the area of the 786, the $2.25 um, price point. This actually then puts us squarely between that 786 and the previous high, allowing us then to see and talk about new price discovery and new all-time highs on the horizon. But I would expect a back test on that 786 to allow us to turn it into a good strong support area and then allow us to grow up to the upside overall. Ultimately, Matic is looking pretty interesting and some pretty good price targets and expectations are also associated with it. As we look at that FIB, we obviously have four interesting targets. We have the 1.618 at $3.98, the 2.618 at $6.06, and then we have the 3.618 at $8.15. And the full 4.236 extension comes in at $9.43. A 654% move from the current position. Okay, so obviously we're talking about a cup and handle pattern taking us to that $2.52. That's the kind of immediate kind of price action that we're expecting to happen in the next few weeks. And again, the completion of this pattern is something that is looking pretty good right now for Polygon's Matic. With that being said, though, this particular pattern is only 60 to 70% accurate. And sometimes we can deviate away from it very, very quickly. So it's important that they do acknowledge the fact that the pattern exists there, but also acknowledge that it is a high probability that we might actually deviate away from it as well okay so we just have to acknowledge that the good pattern that does, could take us up to that two dollars fifty two um, is something that could also be invalidated relatively quickly in the same way that you have trend lines that can also be invalidated very quickly as well overall everything's looking pretty tidy from this cup and handle good progress to be had here um, for polygons matic now so at this point i'm going to try to load up matic on uh, or Polygon, I should say, on the Evide.io dashboard. For those who are unfamiliar, there's a link in the description below. But Evide.io uses artificial intelligence, machine learning to help us understand the underlying value of a cryptocurrency. And um, in the case of uh, evide.io here is completely free to use you just have to sign up and you're good to go and i do urge as many people as possible to actually sign up and use this because you get so much clarity on what is actually going on with your cryptocurrency investments and again this is outside of what you normally would see inside charts so you use this coupled with your charts to make more informed decisions 
Okay, so let's take a look at Matic here. We have a B3 rating, which means we're we're neutral, but we're on the cusp of falling down into the lower tier. Okay, so we have to be aware that ultimately there's some issues with Polygon's Matic right now. But again, these issues are usually short term. They're not long term issues. As we come down, we can actually take a look and see what, what's actually going on. Why are there so many problems uh, with um, this overall rating, right? And as we come down, we have an Amihad ratio, which is a rating of D. Now, rating of D is the worst rating that you can have. And the Amihad ratio is your liquidity. So there's some liquidity-based problems that are plaguing many of the altcoins in the space. It's not just Polygon's Matic, but also many other cryptocurrencies are affected by the Amihad ratio or liquidity-based problems. This could be that there's an decentralized exchange or a decentralized exchange that's experiencing problems with liquidity across a whole series of altcoins. And therefore, we should also be aware that that's going to have an impact to buying and selling. But it also compounds our fear and greed index. Right now, in a fearful state for Matic, that issue with buying and selling could allow us to actually see that issue with the fear actually compound. So we are looking to change this. The market is starting to warm up a little bit and we could see some interesting price surging occurring here for Matic. So I do think this is an issue that is going to get resolved very quickly, but we have to be aware that there could be some short-term volatility on Polygon's Matic um, in the next kind of week. But uh, other than that, I do think longer term and everything is looking pretty good in terms of the charting patterns. But as we come on down, we can also see a sharp ratio. The sharp ratio is your risk reward ratio. Right now we are above the 50 day average and we have a B2 rating. So pretty neutral. Um, it's basically showing that we might want exposure. The risks kind of outweigh the rewards, but it's not the best, right? Um, we're on the cusp of potentially slipping below that and actually flipping it, making the risks outweigh the rewards. Okay, so we have to be aware that um, on the short term, it might not be perfect but you likely you're more likely to make uh, gains than than to actually lose but obviously we have to be aware that the sharp ratio that the artificial intelligence in this platform is indicating that it's kind of neutral it's not good it's not bad it's kind of you know middle ground and um, so we take that couple that with the fear and greed index extreme fear and the problem with buying and selling and liquidity we could see some volatility on the smaller time frames as we take a look at the moving averages, again, that's also been affected by the recent uh, downward trend that we've seen in September and a C2 rating. So again, they need to be improved as well. But overall, the profitability, that return on investment is the best that it can be, an A1 rating. And it's hard to think that we haven't seen such significant growth with a project like this. It's definitely one of the best performers in our portfolio. And it's definitely something that I can acknowledge to say it is definitely a uh, fantastic performer, well outperforming that of Bitcoin ethereum it's outperformed pretty much most altcoins uh, in our portfolio it's definitely a top uh, performer for us um, so overall um, looking pretty interesting on the artificial intelligence uh, data perspective the underlying value of uh, of matic right now looks to be volatile at best so when we come back to our charts and we actually take a look at that cup and handle uh, obviously knowing that we want to kind of fulfill this cup and handle pattern taking us to that two dollars and 52 cent area we have to experience some volatility. That volatility might actually deviate us away from actually completing the push to the upside. I think uh, ultimately it's a bit too early to say for sure as the market is starting to warm up, but we could see this surge actually complete uh, as long as this volatility only lasts a few days and not more than that. And we start to get this surge to the upside. Now, in the case of Polygon's Matic, um, we have to obviously acknowledge what goes on with Ethereum because Ethereum is going to be one of the main drivers behind you know, Matic actually getting some serious traction. So as uh, the price action of Ether goes up and we start to see a huge push to the upside with ETH overall, that's going to also allow Polygon's Matic to grow rapidly to the upside. So I do expect that volatility on the smaller time frame um, to occur over the next few days. But after that, I think we are likely to continue the push to the upside and try to complete that cup and handle. Now, as we take a look at the volatility most recently on this hourly, we can see that we did actually push up quite nicely at the beginning of October before pulling down to pretty interesting lows. Now, we actually got this down as low as $1.15 um, from a high up here of uh, $1.44, okay? So we slipped down a reasonable amount. Um, but there was support and resistance being found just up here, okay? And that actually comes in on $1.28. Right now, we're trading at $1.25, uh, and we are not overbought, but we look like we are heading back to the overbought area, okay? And basically, I think we're likely to push up to that $1.28, 
and then basically pull back down find support and then push on up we're going to try to find this um this kind of trading pattern that allows us to push up gradually over time with that sentiment and liquidity based issue and um, but i do anticipate a good push to the upside as ether is starting to climb up the charts as we speak and so do expect some volatility on the smaller time frame i look for uh, resistance at two dollars uh, 28 and i would also be eager to see a support level found on two dollars and 21 okay so those for me are a couple of areas that i'm going to be watching out for along with 222 221 around that area i'd say 222 to 221 um seems like a pretty interesting point to be watching out for sport um, and find that resistance at two dollars 28 uh, we want to turn two dollars uh, sorry one dollar 28 into a support line and then target the next level of resistance at one dollar 39 i do expect this to be quite volatile over the next kind of few days in line with what the artificial intelligence is kind of talking about um, and once that's all cleared up i do expect a huge push to the upside where we complete that cup and handle if we're ever in doubt it's important that we do zoom on out and we pay attention to the bigger picture where things have been where things are going ultimately by the end of the bull run we are anticipating matic to be nine dollars and 43 cent which is a 654 percent move from the current price position guys i'm going to leave the video there if you have found it useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap that bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with this said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one